with Cape Epic happening just this week and the Olympics happening later this year, cross country is the flavor of the week. And you know, last week we saw Specialized with a brand new Epic that stole headlines with a bunch of techie goodness such as flight attendant and cool carbon and stuff like that. But I think today we've got something a little bit more exciting because Yeti is bringing back the ASR. It's been gone for about 10 years and this time around the brand is really going for it with some cool carbon innovation and well very good spec that's not too bad a price believe it or not so in this video we're going to actually ride this bike but first let's go over those innovations and see what's actually going on here Okay, so the interesting thing is basically starts around this frame. Um, the brand has really slimmed down all of the carbon it can. So in areas perhaps inside the frame where there might be a little bit of excess, there's none here. And they've even gone around the bearing housings and things like that a little bit differently just to shave all of the grams, all of the carbon, all of the weight. Um, so this bike uses 115 mm suspension at the rear with 120 at the front. And um, it's a linear kinematic um, that's based around a flex stay so there's no pivots here at all that's rather nice um, and the reason for that is because or Yeti claims that this offers a, or all of usable travel now it's raining um, so yeah it should be super supple off the top but it should be able to soak up bumps and when it comes to bottom out you know it should resist that rather well as well um, so not this particular frame but others use a completely wireless layout so um where we've got a bit of detail here where cable ports come out um, there is a frame especially for those proper racers who don't want any of that to save all the grams speaking of grams um, that frame weighs about 1448 grams um, so it's very very light so as we all know cross-country courses are getting pretty damn intimidating and this bike comes with the geometry to suit that. And to be honest, it's rather like a, a trail bike of old. So we've got a 65.5 degree head angle, we've got a 75.5 degree seat angle, and this is a large frame which comes with a 465 mil reach. Again, it's basically an old school trail bike. And just touching back on this shock and suspension, it's custom tuned for this very bike. Um, so yes, he's been working very hard with rock shocks to get the desired kinematic. So it uses uh, special compression stacks and things like that so they get exactly what they want from the bike. All right, so that's the bike. Um, we're lucky enough to actually spend some good time with it. So we're gonna go and um, ride it around my local. Pretty excited, it's raining, hopefully that stops. But yeah, let's give it a go. So something that I didn't talk about was the spec of this bike. Um, if you remember correctly, this is a T3. And it does things a little bit differently to the rest of the range or the more expensive builds. So I'm told that it weighs about 12 kilos and um so obviously it's not a massively lightweight build for a cross-country race but in return this bike gives you burlier alloy wheels and i think maybe different tires so it's more of a or dare i say it might be a bit more down country so you can ride it a little bit harder in gnarly terrain and Given this bike's geometry, it doesn't come as much of a surprise because riding stuff like this, it's super approachable. Like I said, it's kind of like a trail bike of old in the way that it's slack, it's reasonably long, and it's got a pretty steep seat tube for a cross country bike. So, this kind of stuff was proper comfortable. Granted, there's a little bit of a lapse in grip. But yeah, back to the spec. It's got Burley wheels, DT Swiss XM 1700s. Up front, ooh, we've got a RockShox Sid. I believe it might be the ultimate build. Uh, got Sid Shock. Got Twist Lock. So, you know, Yeti is a brand that is almost synonymous with Fox for suspension. Yeah, keep going. But Fox, uh, sorry, Yessi has picked this so it can make use of that um, three position lockout. Little stuff like this is super useful. So yeah, where the head angle is a little bit slacker, it's, um, the reach isn't crazy long. We're not talking actual trail bike, modern trail bike stuff here. So like, 
when the corners get tight and uh, twisty, you can still real like control that front end. It's still quite responsive. Granted, we've not done any steep climbs yet, but we'll see how that goes. All right, a little bit of uphill. Just had quite a nice little descent traverse where we were just talking about it, this bike feels more than what Yeti is saying it is. And, you know, rather than like, it is a super torque cross country bike, but rather than an unforgiving one, it gives you all of that 115 mm travel. So it kind of feels like more bike than it actually is. And it's got that cool Fox oh, transfer SL dropper. It's either up or down, but what it is, it's mega light and super smooth. So, yes, he's been quite nice with you. So, impressively, oh, so wet. Um, we've got a 150 mil <laughs> drop of this, which kind of accentuates the trailness of this bike. In the fact, it's so welcoming. <laughs> definitely feeling that front end there. It's not twitchy, but it's definitely responsive. Oh, then it's real fun. Like it's more than just a cross country bike. <laughs> Sit some burlier tyres on it if you want. Oh. All right, so those are first impressions on the new Yeti ASR. Um, it's quite a cool bike. It's kind of it is a cross country bike. It's got you've got that efficiency, the low rolling, the somewhat lightweight. Um, on this particular build, it gets a bit lighter as you spend a bit more money. Um, but it's kind of, it's a cross-country bike with a bit of a trail bike, check and hide kind of thing, where that rear end is really happy to open up, but you can lock out and go full efficiency and go really quick uphill. Um, it's really well balanced, this geometry is very well considered. Um, it is doing the same thing as a lot of cross-country bikes are doing, and that fact is longer, slacker, lower. But, um, it means that you can kind of descend it with the same level of confidence as you would with a normal trail bike. But again, you've got the efficiency and the confidence and the capability when going up a hill with a cross country bike. But that's the Yeti ASR. Um, if you want a deeper look at this bike, we will have a first ride review going up on www.off.road.cc. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.